let's talk about the Xbox showcase. This is where we were talking about Redfall and we were transitioning into this conversation. Let me get us started off. When is the Xbox showcase? We have the what what we have seen that Xbox has has given us. And there's going to be a showcase, an extended showcase. The initial showcase is set for Sunday, June 11th, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The extended showcase is set for Tuesday, June 13th. And those are at the same respective times there, the 10 a.m. and the 1 p.m. for that extended showcase on the 13th. But what is getting people's attention is the Starfield Direct. And there isn't a definitive time as to when it's going to be the specific time. We just know it's going to follow the showcase. And I've been curious myself on this. There is one source that we found, you can find this in the description, that speculates, not confirming, but speculates that the Starfield Direct, in case you want to just tune in for Starfield and not the Xbox Showcase, is going to be at, and this is the Starfield Direct Showcase, by speculation, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The source for this is from a tweet from Walking Cat, Twitter handle Walking Cat. Let's talk about the pressure, The to what extent there is a pressure on Xbox to release a title that will keep customers motivated to have game pass be proud of game pass jay kumar what else do we need to know they have to i mean they have to be feeling some pressure yeah you know again you look at their sales and everything else you know playstation sony's killing them um well maybe not killing them but well i mean they're losing the 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 interview we talked about with Mm. with phil spencer yeah. He, he even admits that it's hard to be Xbox because of decisions PlayStation is making. Well, again, like we, we decided or, <laughs> or we said about before, you know, yes, PlayStation's made their decisions, but Xbox has made theirs. Yeah. Microsoft has, yeah. you know, also doing, done the same thing. They've bought up as many, you know, uh, little guys as they possibly can. They've, mm-hmm. uh, you know, again, this is coming from way back. You know, they, they screwed Bungie hard. You know, if if Bungie would still be in control of Halo, we may not have Destiny, but Halo would probably still be an amazing game, and yeah. it really would have evolved it. It's being contracted but, out now. Three forty three Studios, yeah, they are contracting. Yeah. yeah, they're contracting that out because it was a complete mess with Infinite. It actually was twelve times larger than the game actually is, and they took random segments and they put it together like a unfitting jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, and they <laughs> hence messed the, it up. Hence the zones again, in the yeah. Anyways, yeah, so so. Xbox hasn't Xbox any any of Xbox Studios hasn't come out with anything that gets their audience really playing. They're not listening to the people that are playing these games, what they actually want. Um, three four three is a big studio. They should be able to. <clears throat> they should have never messed up Infinite the way they did. But mm, again, I, I I there's not a whole lot of people out there that I could at least that I know, that would say that they've been doing well. So do you think Starfield is going to follow that suit? It is an ambitious game. Kumar, you well, remember, we covered it. Skyrim in space. I think it's oh. over a thousand planets, did he, he say, at the at a showcase? Maybe it was last year's showcase, but help me out, Kumar. What do you, what do you think? I, I mean, I think it's going to be a great game. I hope so. No, I hope it's not like... Uh... What was that disappointing game? All uh, Out? No Man's Sky. Oh. <laughs> that, still, that still has a fan base. They still... So the yeah, pre- I mean... Yeah, go ahead. No, no. So every game has a fan base, whether it's terrible or not. I mean, there are still people that... Different opinions, right? But, I mean, Bethesda's, other than Doom, they've had some major f- issues themselves, too. I mean, it... I've been optimistic on a lot of different games because, you know, the last couple of games that I've really been hyped up for and spending a bunch of money on, I'm not getting what I want. But mm-hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll see with this one. And we talked about, too, in a previous episode, Kumar, being an Xbox Game Pass customer. 
are you satisfied in being a customer? Are playing the old games enough? Is it a matter of needing to look forward to new titles to continue being a devoted customer? I think there's pressure, and we've talked about it. There's pressure. Starfield needs to be good. What do you think? I, see, I think there's see Jay's pressure. nodding. It needs to be good. It needs to well, be Kumar, good. Yeah, Kumar will talk me in today on getting Game Pass. He, he talked me into getting on... Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. He talk, I, I'm still, still on it, Kumar. See, I, I, still I want see my that money charge. back, Kumar. I still see that charge coming out of my credit card every day of month, and I keep on thinking, I should probably just cancel that. But I, I just forget about it, and well, it still hey. comes out every month. I gotta put my credit card. Damn it! There's don't. Oh, there's don't, a there's. No, you're fine. You're fine. I don't. Mean, there's some old games on there that are really fun. Yeah, there are sometimes. There are. Like Prey I mean, the, well. the amount, the amount that I have actually used Game Pass versus what I'm paying for it. Yeah, if, I mean, um, Xbox is making a fortune off of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a fortune off of everybody, and hopefully, it goes into making. This awesome game, Starfield, and a great... It. So let's talk about Starfield for, for a little bit. It's set to release September 6th, 2023, as it stands now for episode episode 5 of the show. It's going to be on Xbox Game Pass at launch. It's a day one edition. It's going to release for Series X and S and Microsoft Windows on PC likely through the the app to the PC Game Pass app, but others like Steam, for example, to be able to get it on Steam. But taking advantage of it as a day one Game Pass game, and hopefully there isn't some capped frame rate that we saw with Redfall and a performance mode being promised later. I hope that is not the case for this. I would love for it to be able to be played in the cloud service as well. That would be really awesome, and I'm wondering if if that could be done or if it's going to be announced later for that. What else, gentlemen? Starfield Direct. Is it going to be at 3 p.m. following? You think it's going to take that to long? What, what this game really reminds me of. <clears throat> well, it has has some hints of, of Fallout as well. I would say more yeah, I see Fallout that. 4 than 76 have that yeah I, I think that energy is there and it's considered skyrim in space what do you think kumar is it is it skyrim do you feel oh, skyrim I, I, in looking at this i don't know have you tried out skyrim yet uh <laughs> you know i'm i'm in between so many unfinished games uh, you are the only person i've ever met that can do one game one week another game the next week game after that the next week know. and then circle back around i, can't I don't do know that. how i do it yeah i don't know how i do it i just I, I i love playing games i try as many as i can and try to keep up with all of them and i i do my best i really do all right well kumar so you think you think there's some skyrim in this uh, it looks like it looks skyrim. like it all right well that is our update for the Xbox Showcase and Starfield Direct.